Let's go live downtown to 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo. And Heather, listening to some of this testimony, it sounds like the witness and the feds have been working together a while on this. Yes, the government played two lengthy recordings in court today, and it became very clear that Carl Cato's cooperation has already landed the feds a couple of convictions. The question now is, will he help take down the former mayor? Carl Cato made secret recordings for the FBI, cooperating with their City Hall pay-to-play probe for several years. Cato told the jury in the Kilpatrick corruption trial today that he paid the former mayor and his father, Bernard Kilpatrick, hundreds of thousands of dollars out of fear he would lose his lucrative cleaning and electrical contracts at Cobo Center. The 72-year-old Iraqi-born businessman testified that he would give Bernard Kilpatrick 40 and 50 grand at a time in cash. Working with the FBI, Cato recorded two meetings with Bernard Kilpatrick. What was it like to hear those recordings? At one meeting at Tom's Oyster Bar, Cato said he felt like Bernard Kilpatrick was extorting him when he suggested he would take 10% of the payments the city owed Cato. Cato told the jury he gave cash to Kwame Kilpatrick, both in Cato's office at Cobo and Kilpatrick's office at City Hall. Cato also secretly recorded conversations with former Cobo Center directors Lou Pavlidis and Glenn Blanton. Cato says he gave cash to both of them. Pavlidis pleaded guilty to concealing a bribe and Blanton pleaded guilty to obstruction of justice. Cato had to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines and is currently on probation as part of his own plea deal for a tax charge. Bernard Kilpatrick's attorney John Shea got Cato to admit he was paying off Cobo bosses long before Kwame Kilpatrick was elected mayor. I'm not going to comment on the um, on the quality of the recordings or his ability to recollect or any of that stuff. It's why you have you know it's why you have uh, uh, two sides examine witnesses. So we'll see we'll see what he says um, as we keep moving along. Now, it's been suggested that Mr. Cato is suffering from dementia, but it did not seem, he did not seem to show any signs of that on the stand today. And of course, he was extremely eager. At some point, the judge, at some points, the judge even had to sort of slow him down. He was extremely eager to describe uh, the pressure that he says he felt that he had to pay off people in the Kilpatrick administration, saying, if you don't pay the money, you lose everything. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Yeah, Heather, we've learned what it seems really damaging today. Suddenly weekends on cross-examination. What can we expect tomorrow? Well, as you know, Mr. Cato is testifying as part of a cooperation agreement. He did a plea deal in order to get leniency in his own criminal matters. You can expect the defense is going to make a big deal out of that, and I think you can expect them to continue to ask him more questions about these alleged bribes that he, that he was paying to people long before the Kilpatrick administration came into power. All right, Heather Catano, thank you for your work. Talk to you tomorrow.